So, while uh, we're waiting for this whole pandemic to cool down, I headed out in my own country again, to the south of Belgium. There's a long GR trail there that runs along the river Samois. And I've done small parts of it in the past, but this time I wanted to do a big trail. And I planned to do it in five days, but uh, due to the weather forecast, I uh, pressed on and finished it in four days, which was, which was a lot, especially on my... Uh, minimal barefoot shoes uh, like on Saturday I did 37 kilometers and yeah it was a bit much maybe um, I'll post the full route down in the description below but basically I hiked the GR16 from Herbemont to Ay with a small variation to include the uh, Echelle de Rochot that's uh, also known as the ladder hike as there are four small ladders on that trail and it's a pretty short hike, uh, you can do it in like two or three hours, but it's very steep and adventurous and yeah, probably the most spectacular hike in Belgium. It's also very popular, so don't go doing it like on a sunny Sunday afternoon. Um, I was there on a Monday morning, early Monday, and it was raining, so I was all by myself. So yeah, the weather is very unpredictable here this spring. Um, on Saturday morning it got down to like 2 or 3 degrees Celsius and the very next day it was 25 degrees in the sun. So yeah, big difference. I also had storm winds, I had a few rain showers. Pretty unpredictable weather here. And uh, yeah, you may remember in the previous video that I complained about my sleeping pad, which is uh, not really suited for winter conditions or even yeah like autumn or early spring conditions well this time i borrowed the uh, thermarest neo air x term from a friend and that was way way better uh, i'll have a full gear list in the description below as well so that's it you can follow me on instagram where i post pictures updates small trail food reviews stuff like that and uh, yeah do check my other hiking videos and leave a like subscribe the whole deal you know how it goes and uh, i'll see you in the next one